it's it's called a chuck wagon skillet and why it's called that is because we're using some really fun noodles in this recipe um, and actually the noodles are going to actually go right in with this it, as we're cooking this whole thing together so it's a really fun recipe um, we've got the water boiling for another recipe down the road so we're going to start with one package a two pound package of ground beef and I'm just going to start cooking that up now I'm a huge fan of skillet recipes that's something that I'm uh, trying to come up with more and more of them you know I love my casseroles queen of casseroles I love my slow cooker, so those are two of my big secrets. Sometimes, though, you just don't get up five minutes earlier, and you just don't have everything you need for your slow cooker recipe. Or casseroles, you don't have the time for casseroles, and you didn't have time to, you know, Sunday is normally my big cooking day, and so I try and um, get a, def uh, a few different meals for the week together on a Sunday. So I get it. If that doesn't happen, and you just need to put dinner on the table in a real hurry, my new go-to thing are one skillet recipes, and I've put a few of these in my new cookbook and I'm going to try and come up with lots and lots more of them. Um, what they are are meals that you can get on the table in 20 to 30 minutes all in one pan and then you just serve it right out of the skillet. So that means just one dish to wash. Gotta love that. And like a casserole, pretty much everything's in there. So in this dish we've got our ground beef, we're going to have pasta in here, we're going to have some veggies. So really you can just serve this and you know call it a day. Now if you wanted to you could certainly um, serve some fresh fruit with it or a salad or some bread, but you don't have to. I've also got some onion, just some finely diced onion. If the kids don't like onion, you can leave it out. And I'm also going to do some green pepper, finely diced green pepper. But again, if the kiddos don't like it, not a big deal, just leave it out. That happened to be a really big green pepper, so we'll just do about half of it. We're making things bigger these days. If the onion's really finely diced and the pepper too, I can usually squeeze it in the recipes, kind of sneak it in there, because it'll just give it some great flavor and the kids probably won't even notice it. Anne says she would. Okay. Anne, when you're making this, leave out the, uh, the green pepper. My kids are getting better as they're getting older. They really are coming along. It will happen. One, of, one day, just all of a sudden, they start eating more veggies and salad, and you're going, wow, took a while. So now I'm going to add my green pepper. And I'm telling you, sometimes that these skillet recipes are quicker than waiting for a pizza to be delivered or Chinese takeout, and a lot less expensive, too. When did pizza delivery get so expensive? Or pizza itself? Okay, so I'm just breaking this up. Now instead of taking the time to hassle with fresh garlic, I'm just going to use my old standby, something I grew up with. My mom used to use this all the time, so did my grandmother. Just garlic salt. Season that well. We love our garlic salt in the family. And then some black pepper. And this is, like I say, I've got a, a handful of skillet recipes in my latest cookbook because every time I go out for book signings, and I still, I hear it from you guys all the time, I love your recipes because they're real. I can do it, and they're quick and easy. And we want more of that. We want more, you know, five, six ingredient recipes. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm really working hard on coming up with these skillet recipes because everybody loves them, and they are so quick and easy. Okay. So I just want this to get no longer pink and crumbly. And I'm going to talk about, I'm using my old chop and stir here, some of the other ingredients that I'm using. I've got some barbecue sauce. So this is stuff that you normally have in the pantry. And this is a fun ingredient uh, that's going to give this dish a whole different taste. A little bit of beef stock. Um, beef stock is so much better than the, the canned beef bouillon cubes or granules that we grew up with as a kid um, and it's so much better even than beef broth. Uh, beef stock, chicken stock, when you see the word stock, 
uh, basically, you know, it means it's the real deal. They're using the bones and they're cooking it down and it's not just a, you know, kind of a salty flavored can of, you know, you're not really sure what it is. So if you, um, you know, got a choice to make, always go for the stock. You'll be glad you did. And I always like to buy it in the, in the box like this because you can use what you need. And then flip the top back on, get it in the fridge, and use it in a soup or a stew and another recipe down the road. Okay, now we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients here. So the beef is just about cooked through. And I'm going to add some water because we're going to cook our pasta right in this. I think we're all familiar with a box that's called Helper. You know what I'm talking about? And it comes in lots of different flavors. Um, and, you know, they're not really that good for you. And they really don't taste all that great. But this uh, skillet recipe kind of has the same idea. Uh, we're going to actually be cooking the pasta right in here. And those, they're expensive, too, those box mixes. So now we're going to add our barbecue sauce, just whatever you like. We happen to love the Mad Dog and Miro barbecue sauce. So we're going to add some of that and some beef stock. And I'm bringing this to a simmer here. So this is gonna be the liquid that our pasta is gonna cook in. Now we've got one bag of the wagon wheel pasta. This is really fun. It's the, the you know, shaped like a little wheel. Elbow macaroni would work perfectly fine too, but this is just fun. So we're gonna dump that in there. We're going to put the lid on it, give it a stir, bring it to a boil, put the lid on it, and just let this all cook together. And then we're going to decorate the top with some cheese and onions, and it's just delicious. So it's kind of a, a twist on, you know, uh, it's got pasta, it's got cheese, it's got beef, it's fun with the, the wagon wheel noodles got some great flavor with the barbecue sauce in there and so that's why you know call it the chuck wagon skillet um, with the barbecue sauce and it's just it's a winner it's just delicious so lid goes on I'm gonna let this hang out and, and cook the pasta a little bit and I'll check back in just a few minutes and when the pasta is nice and, and uh, soft and we'll finish up the dish with some shredded shredded cheese on top and some um, chopped scallions too 